Hello. So it's Friday night. It's about seven o'clock and uh, I just got home from work. Fed Bruce, fed everybody, took Bruce out. Now I'm going to eat dinner. I started work at like 10 today and then I came home and did two assessments for VSA, um, which I passed and then uh, went back to work until seven. So I mentioned yesterday that I was supposed to go to Disneyland and I had to cancel because of uh, financial issues and I rescheduled. I did reschedule my trip uh, for April 5th, which is a Tuesday. Um, and I love going during the week. Like, I feel like even when I have a choice, I like going during the week. It's usually less crowded. Um, although I don't know with spring break, I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, but I love going during the week and like first thing in the morning. So that trip, I think I'm going to try to make it an overnight. Um, I don't know if I'll do one night or two. Um, ideally I will do two, but again, it kind of depends on budget. Um, but I always think it's nice to stay the night before. Um, and then rope drop and then also stay the night after um, because then I'm just exhausted and I can just relax. But anyway, so that day that I'm going to be going uh, is my next day off, um, April 5th. And today is what, April 10th? <laughs> today is March 11th. I was close. Just one month and one day off. So my last day off was Sunday, March 6th. So there's like a month in between my days off. And I just accepted a dog walking client who uh, wants five days a week walks, including Saturday and Sunday. Um, and I was a little bit hesitant to take the job because normally my five day a week clients do Monday through Friday. Um, and because I already have Monday through Friday clients, uh, taking a weekend client would mean that I don't have any days off ever. Uh, unless I get really lucky and uh, one of my weekday clients or a couple of my weekday clients decide to skip a day and I happen to not have any pet sitting book that day, which is what's happening on April 5th. So it does happen occasionally. I think it's also the following uh, Tuesday, the 12th. So it'll happen a couple of times, but it's just pretty rare. And I know that might sound like a bad plan to uh, schedule myself with no days off. Um, but I did it for a couple reasons. One is because I mentioned this kind of in the video where I talked about how I didn't take any client phone calls for like five years, new client phone calls. I did everything via email um, and kind of decided if it was a yes or no. And, um, and now I'm realizing like if I'm not 100% sure over email, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a no. And sometimes we can talk and like figure it out. And I'm realizing that those clients that I might be missing out on uh, might be really great clients and also help me get my business to the next stage, which is hiring staff. So that is one reason that I accepted this client is because actually, I guess it's two reasons. One is because they seem like a cool client. I do also really like the dog. Now that I'm working with her, we get to work on a little bit of training, which I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. But, um, also having more work to go around means that, um, logistically it, it's going to be more, feasible to hire an employee um and also uh the idea of like now that I don't have any days off until I hire somebody I feel like it's going to be really motivating to hire somebody and I also really really want to hire somebody before summer because it tends to start getting really busy um around May so ideally if I could hire someone in like April um and start training them and uh be able to share some work um, by May, June, July, like that's going to be awesome. But yeah, I mentioned the training with this dog. Uh, she's really good. She's a really sweet, nice dog, but she is huge. And so one of the things we're working on is like not jumping up right when I walk through the door. Um, and it's really fun. I think I, I don't know. I'm at the point now where if I get a dog walking client or a pet sitting client who needs a little bit of training help, um, I'm just excited to just do it. Like behaviors like jumping up, for example, like there are things that either I've never had to train before or I just ha I have and it's been a while um, or like jumping up. I've had a lot of clients who, uh, you know, back in the, in the day when I first started my business where um, they were working with a different trainer. And so I would get instructions from the client like, hey, we're working with our trainer on this. Um, can you do this when you walk through the door? Um, and now it's cool to like be the point person and be actually the one doing the training instead of the one just like following someone's instructions. Not only that, but like now that I'm doing like VSA and I'm like getting more education and stuff, like when a behavior problem comes up, I don't need to like 
look up how to solve it like I kind of already know even if it's something that I haven't specifically done before like I might need to like look up advice or like ask in a dog training group about like fine-tuning the thing but like I can put a basic plan together just based on my knowledge of behavior and training in general without looking up the specific skill. So I feel like that's pretty much all I wanted to say. The one point that I wanted to make that I didn't and I've like been wanting to like post on Instagram or something about this um, because but I don't really know exactly how I want to say it but I've seen a lot of posts about um, you know like hustle culture and like the no days off thing and saying like it's not cool to talk like that like and like in a way I agree with those posts like I definitely do like it's not like necessarily a badge of honor just to work just for the sake of working like I feel like I wouldn't be talking about this like this unless I knew like it's going to get me to the next stage you know what I mean and I feel like it is like I underestimated how much work this is going to be and I even said this to my coach like a couple of weeks ago I think the session before our last one was that I didn't it's been a while since I've had to work this hard um, and I mean I've worked time wise like I've worked a lot I've had a lot of um, stretches with like no days off and where I've um, you know like had long days and whatnot um, but it's been a while since I've been this challenged um, as far as like doing school and doing the coaching and like restructuring my business and thinking about hiring and like all of this stuff and it's like there's an emotional investment with it too it's just like I don't know like I, I've, I mentioned that I've been through stretches like this before working a lot with no days off but I think this is different because the steps I'm taking are different it's not like I'm just doing the same thing and expecting different results like I'm actually doing different work and so on the other side of this like I know that my business is going to look different and it's going to work a lot better um so I'm really excited and I've also been doing this long enough that I know that I need to take breaks um so when I do have like partial days off like I'm kind of bummed that like yesterday I didn't get to do go to Disneyland it was nice to have the day off and just do nothing um but I feel like doing something that really like takes me out of my normal routine and like get out of my head and like not think about work at all um that really helps um that's one of my favorite things about Disneyland is that it really does that for me so um probably one of the next days that I have like a partial day off maybe I'll go to knots maybe I'll do something I don't know because my knots pass comes with parking so it's easy to do like a little pop in and like not stay for that long Disneyland I have to pay 30 bucks for parking and if I'm gonna pay that like I'm gonna commit like like I'm not gonna pay 30 bucks and go on like three rides anyway I'm going to uh eat my splendid spoon I made some soup no I didn't I made chili it's the tomatillo chili um and I'm gonna go watch more Walking Dead and then we're gonna go to bed early um tomorrow's an easy day I just have one a.m. p.m. client and then I have a meet and greet with somebody new so I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>